Hi, I'm Jill Fry, and this is the third in the series of how to take photos at night. So in this video, we're going to be talking about how to focus. How do you focus at night when it's dark? I'll show you how. Whenever you take photos, the most crucial thing to get right is your focus. It doesn't matter whether it's during the day or whether it's at night, but your focus is the most critical thing. You can crop photos if you don't get your composition quite right, but if you don't get your focus right, it's not a good photo. So I'm going to show you how to focus at night. The first thing that you need to look at is your lens. Now, each lens obviously is different and each lens has different markings. Because the stars are so far away, we want to focus at infinity. Now, some lens manufacturers make it a little bit easier by having an infinity symbol on your lens. Now, the infinity symbol is that sideways figure eight. If you have a look at this Samyang lens, it has a sideways figure eight. And so you can put it there to start with to get your focus right. But just remember that not all lenses are absolutely accurate. And so they're not always lined up exactly where infinity is infinity. So I'm going to show you how to ensure that you get your focus absolutely right. Some lenses, for example, this 40 millimeter lens, have no symbols on them whatsoever. It just has a focal ring. No symbols, no markings, no two to three meters, nothing. And so, you're really going a little bit more blind here. And that's why the next test is so important because when you're out at night and you don't have any guide like the infinity symbol on your lens, you really have no idea where you are. So what we're gonna do is go out into the paddock and I'm gonna show you how to try and find your infinity focus and more importantly, how to nail it and know you've got it absolutely in focus. So let's go outside. Okay, so we've come out into the paddock here and I've set up my Canon 6D on its tripod. I have put on my 24 to 70 millimeter lens because this has an autofocus and a manual focus um, adjustment on the lens. I usually use my Samyang 14mm for my night shots but that is totally manual focus. So I needed to have something which had autofocus and manual focus so that I could show you how to set up to get your focus tack sharp. So the first thing that we do is we make sure that little slider on the side of the lens there is set to autofocus. Now normally it will be this anyway because you'd be shooting during the day and if you're using your autofocus it will automatically be on autofocus. But you just need to have a look at that slider there and just see. So the next thing I do is I'm actually pointing out way into the distance and I'll show you shortly. Um, and so what I want to do is first of all let the camera decide how far it feels that the infinity is. So let's just quickly go ahead and do that. Okay, so the camera has auto-focused on where it thinks infinity is. Now we need to check that that infinity is absolutely correct. And we do that by now switching to manual focus. The next thing to do is to put your camera into live view. 
Now you'll see here on my Canon 6D, I've got this start stop button and a little picture of a camera there. That's how I switch into live view. You may need to consult your manual to see whether you have got live view and how to activate it. But it is usually a button on the back of the camera here. Next, see this little symbol here, the little magnifying glass? Press that. See how it just jumped the image a little bit more in magnification. Press it again. It's now jumped it up to five times magnification. Press it again. It's now 10 times magnification. Now, on your focal ring, just gently, gently, gently move your focus in and out until that focus is absolutely perfect. Then check again to see whether you have moved it away from what the camera first suggested infinity should be. Your infinity focus should now be tack sharp. What I suggest you do is take a little bit of electrician's tape and just tape the focal ring gently on your lens to hold it in position. This way you can ensure that the focal ring is not going to move until you get to where you want to focus tonight. Okay, it's getting a little bit late in the day and I just wanted to share a little trick with you. What I've done is I've set up my Christmas lights in the tree there and they are really fantastic for focusing practice, especially when it's starting to get a little bit dark so you can see them a little bit better. So, let's see if we can hone in our technique a little bit more. It's exactly the same as what I was describing before, but this is just using things which are a little bit more star-like. So with our camera turned on, again, go to live view. Zoom, zoom, there they are, zoom a bit more. There's our little stars, but they're a little bit out of focus. So here we go to our manual focus and we just hone them in. Now I'm going to put it out of focus. See how they're bigger? And as you get it more in focus, they get smaller and smaller. Little dots. You go past that and then they get bigger again. So the idea is to get the smallest little dots that you can possibly get and then you'll be totally in focus. Now it's time to shoot some real stars. Now I really hope this series has been helpful for you and I'd really love it if you could let me know that it is by giving me a like or leaving a comment. And if you leave a comment, please let me know what future tutorials you'd like to see. Also, if you subscribe to my channel, you'll also see them when they come online. So thanks for watching. I hope you're learning lots and have fun under the stars because they're just simply awesome.